All right, y'all, I wanted to show y'all uh, some dolls that I have for sale on Etsy right now. Um, I made some Mary Laveau dolls back in June. Um, you know, Mary Laveau died in on June 16th, 1881, I believe. Um, and, yeah, that was the date. And so in June, around that time, uh, this year, in 2015, I was, like, really getting into working with her spirit. I really wanted to connect with her and learn some stuff from her, which I did do. I learned um, some secrets from her. I learned... Uh, you know, she was such a powerful witch and stuff, and such a help to the community and stuff like that. When she died, um, she actually became a Loa. She became um, something more than a human soul, okay? And that's what I wanted to learn from her. So uh, I did learn how to do that and how she accomplished it, but I uh, made these dolls in that time period when her spirit was just around me and I was working with her. So, um, I'm selling these on Etsy. I made two. Originally I had made one to keep. There's this one that I made and I made it with yellow because, uh, this yellow beaded necklace. Because this one also has, um, Oshun's energy in it. Um, and with her, so. That's one of them. That one actually, I always made it to sell. This one, <clears throat> I had originally made this one to keep it, um, at least as long as I was working with her spirit and energy, so I had an altar to her and I had this doll there. So this one probably has more power in it than the other one. Um, I did consecrate and possess both of them with her spirit uh, on the same day. Um, which was the anniversary of her death, June 16th of this year. So, uh, now that I'm not really going to be working with her spirit anymore because I accomplished what I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and sell this one too. And I just wanted to show you all that. She's really pretty. And I made this one with white beads and rainbow because, uh, this one was, was going to be, uh, Dumbala and Yada We Do, or Dumbala We Do, however you want to say it, uh, that I was associating with her energy. I was really trying to learn how she worked with these with these other spirits, um, because I learned that those were, and Oshun, those were some of the spirits that she worked with most often, and that she got a lot of personal power from and even accomplished to become a lower upon her own death by working with those other spirits, okay? And that's all I'm going to say on that. If you want to know more, message me. I'm not going to give away those secrets publicly because she told me not to. Okay. Another doll I want to show y'all is this one. Sorry y'all, this one's already sold. Like, before it was even done, someone claimed it. Uh, the last time I showed it to y'all, you know, before we had all the jewels and stuff, someone already claimed it. So, I'm sorry, but I can make more if y'all uh, want a similar doll. If you want a fairy doll at all, female or male. If you want, um, um, or if these dolls sell, I can always make dolls for y'all. Like, that's one of my specialties. I, I specialize in making spirit dolls. Uh, for your needs and also in making talismans and amulets like that's my extreme specialty okay uh, I can do anything but those are just like what I'm like extremely good at and I've had the most experience with so this one's made with owl feathers um, it's my first male fairy doll his name is Franklin uh, he's not a dark fairy he was ac he's actually uh, the spirit, Franklin, that came forward for this doll was actually a human witch. Um, while he was alive, after he died, he became a fairy. And he's the one who wanted to come in this. So, uh, it's like a little bone and all that. And um, I made these beaded necklaces.
this is. They all have a different energy and power in them that I bless and consecrated them with. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. And, you know, I'm trying to see if it's showing off his whole body. But yeah, he stands up. The other fairy dolls I made, like, hang, but he told me he wanted, he preferred to stand on the ground or on a table or something, so. Yeah, um, I just wanted to show all these, and that's basically it for this video. Um, <clears throat> so excited that Halloween's coming up, y'all. That's my favorite. It's my favorite favorite. Um, it's really, it's an amazing time, you know. It's like everything supernatural just, it's just here without even trying, you know. It's really awesome. Um, I have some major work planned, you know, with my covens and just locally with my, my witchy friends, you know, to here and where I live. Um really exciting. I'm excited to get this stuff done. Uh, it's, it's really awesome because the more that you're on this path as a witch and the more that you go through these habits, it's like <clears throat> each year um, it's more and more like amazing because you just keep learning more and more and more and you keep experiencing more and more and more and that's like the main thing I mean like, like when you first start off as a witch you can read up on the Sabbaths all you want you can you know you can learn from other people's experiences all you want but the more that you actually work with these Sabbaths yourself and experience it yourself you're you're gonna learn much more doing that because you're gonna understand it more better when you experience it yourself so you know as these years go by the will of the year Y'all notice that in science, uh, they teach you about the solar system and all this stuff, and they show it to you flat like this, right? Uh, like the sun's here, and the earth is here, and it's spinning in a wheel flat. You know, that's not really how it works. These ancient people knew that it was the wheel. They called it the wheel of the year. Really, it's like this, okay? That's why, uh... Like, it's more like the sun's here, and the earth and planets and other stuff are going around like this, okay? That's how it really is, y'all. It's a wheel. It's not flat. It's not a disc. It's a wheel, okay? Uh, that's why, you know, even we call it, as the time around the spring equinox, we call it the spring. Um, you know, that's at the part where the, the planet is going up the wheel, okay? It's, it's reached the halfway point, halfway up the wheel, and it's going to the top, okay? Then in the fall, we call it the fall because the earth is falling to the bottom of the wheel, okay? And then the winter solstice, the darkest night of the year, you're down there, you know? The summer solstice, the most lightest part of the year, you're at the top, okay? Consider that, which is, uh, it's called the will of the year for a reason, okay? So, uh, right now, at this Sabbath, it's coming up Halloween, Samhain, uh, I know I call it Samhain, I hate that I call it that, it's like, I mess up sometimes, y'all. <clears throat> Samhain, uh, we are at the point where we've already gone past the halfway point into the dark part of the year. Uh, we're not at the bottom yet, the winter solstice. We're in, we're about to be in the middle of the, in the middle of this section, basically. I wish I would have brought my will of the year, but, because I have a little chart of it, but, um, I'll just go look it up. I might go ahead and post a, uh, you know, when you push play on the video, how I, you can put an image there. I might post a will of the year image as the, the uh, the fuck do they call that? the thumbnail when you push play. Uh, but anyways, we're at the sector right now where we're in between um, the waning part to the darkest. 
and I've always been more powerful in this time of year. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm most powerful actually at the winter solstice, um, the longest and darkest night of the year. That is when I'm like at my peak of power, which is kind of odd because I was actually born um, June 7th, which is, you know, my, actually my due date was supposed to be June 20th, but my mom induced me to be born on the 7th instead. So, uh, I was actually supposed to be born at the summer solstice, so the longest day of the year. But it's odd that my peak of power is actually on the longest night of the year. So, I don't know, so, something interesting, but, uh, have a little time left. But, yeah, y'all, it's a wheel, okay? It's not, it's not a flat disc. Everything that science teaches is kind of retarded because even though there's a lot of truth in it, they only, you know, they're more concerned about the physical. They're so stuck on that, they can't look beyond it. Uh, they don't want to see that everything's connected. They don't want to see that the universe is alive instead of being a machine. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, y'all, it's a wheel, okay? And we're approaching out to the bottom. If you want to see it, you know, it's the underworld, okay? When we're at the equinoxes, we're in the middle. When we're at the solstices, we're either in the underworld or we're in the heaven realm, the upper world. So, um, y'all need to start looking at it like that, or at least entertain the idea and think about it a little bit. And decide for yourself if that makes more sense to you than anything you've ever heard before. Uh, that's how it works. Um, so yeah, I guess I would guess this video is like an update on dolls and just talking about the Will of the Year, the Sabbath. But uh, I love how windy it is today. Y'all like, I have always been so connected to the wind. Like, well I mean I'm a Gemini and uh, you know, the ruler of that is air, the air element. So, um, it's the most powerful of the air elements. You know, you have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Those are all the air. But Gemini is, uh, like the peak of the air element. So, uh, I used to always have dreams that I just was the wind incarnate. Uh, when I was younger, I would always dream that. So, I've just always had like this kindred connection to the wind. Um, I could tell you a lot of stories about the wind. This one time, well not this one time, but actually I used to constantly make uh, whirlwinds with my mind. Not like tornadoes, but like, what they call it, dust devils or dirt devils or whatever. Uh, I used to be able to just create those at will. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share, I think this video is about to end, but I'm going to share a few stories about that with y'all. Um, I really need to get that back out into nature more often and reconnect with the wind element again. Because it's a, it's a learning process. You go through each element and mastering it. Um, I have finally got to the point in my life where I mastered the earth element, you know, and earth is the opposite of air. So it was, it was always going to be the last one that I learned to master, but, uh, yeah, I'm ready to, you know, go back and restart the cycle. Y'all, it's a spiral. You constantly come back to the things that you've already gone over and you learn deeper understandings of it all. So I'm ready to restart my cycle and go back to air again. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... You know, I'm going to finish that series of videos I started last year of the power of the elements. Okay, I already did fire, but I never did the rest. I'm sorry about that, y'all, but I've just been really busy with everything. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish that series of videos. Alright, be right back.